Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we will solve a very interesting exponential equation 256 to the power x plus 256x to the power x plus 16 to the power x is equals to 1. But before I proceed, I would like to request you to please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more math related videos. So basically in this equation, the main challenge is that there is no division of power involved through which we can apply the standard rules of exponents and powers. So the very first step that we will have to take is to bifurcate this equation into known numbers. So as we know that 256 is basically a square of 16. So that is the hint that the, I got the, uh, from this 16 as well. Okay. So these two 256 are basically the squares of 16. So I will write 16 square to the power x plus 16 square to the power x plus 16 to the power x is equals to 1. Now we basically have a property in exponents and powers where a to the power m whole power n can be written as a to the power m into n. This can also be written as a to the power n whole power m. That means I can basically interchange the powers. So if inside I have m and outside I have n, then they can be interchanged as this, okay, in this manner. So I will use this property in this step here. So I will change the 2 and the x respectively. Uh, their positions will be changed respectively. So this will be 16 to the power x whole square plus 16 to the power x whole square plus 16 to the power x is equals to 1. Now, as you can see, I basically have 16 to the power x, which is common in both these uh, components. So I will take let 16 to the power x is equals to a. Okay. The main advantage of doing this particular substitution is that the entire equation will now convert into somewhat like this. So a square plus a square plus a is equals to 1. Okay. Further simplifying it, we have 2a square plus a minus 1 is equals to 0. Now all we have to do is to find this value of a from this equation and then make necessary changes to find the value of x. So let's use the splitting by middle term formula. So this middle term a can be written as a minus a minus 1 is equals to 0. This is equals to. Now from these, this part I can take 2a common so this will be a plus 1. From this part let me take minus 1 common so this will be a plus 1 is equals to 0. Okay. This implies that 2a minus 1 into a plus 1 is equals to 0 here. Okay. Now let's continue further. This implies that 2a minus 1 is equals to 0 or a plus 1 is equals to 0. This implies that 2a is equals to 1 or a is equals to minus 1. This implies that 2a is equals to 1 by 2 or a is equals to minus 1. So we basically have two cases for a. Respectively, we will calculate the value of x now. Now we had taken the value of a as 16 to the power x. So I will write 16 to the power x this power, uh, this fraction uh, 1 by 2 can be written as 2 to the power minus 1. This implies that this 16 can now be written as 2 to the power 4 and we already have an x associated with it. So this will be equal to 2 to the power minus 1. This implies that 4x is equals to minus 1 because we have a property of exponents where a to the power m and a to the power n are equal then the powers can be equated. This implies that the value of x is minus 1 by 4. Okay, so this is the first part of the answer. Now for the second part of the answer where we had a is equals to minus 1. If you look closely, then we will have to take 16 to the power x is equals to minus 1. Clearly, when we substitute any integer or even a fraction value of x, we will never get the answer as negative. So that means for this particular part of the equation, the value of x cannot be calculated. Hence, this part of the calculation is not possible. So that means the final answer to this question is x to x is equals to 
minus 1 by 4. So I hope you really like this video. For more such videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.